Good afternoon. I'm Liz Reyes. We are starting with some breaking news. Mayor Cantrell's communications director will have some more time to get a lawyer for a hearing about his alleged involvement with mailers he sent out about his boss during a campaign to recall the mayor. Andres Fuentes joins us with the latest details from New Orleans City Hall. Liz, the mayor's communication director, Gregory Joseph, did not show up to today's special hearing about the charges of gross misconduct, incompetence, and neglect of official duty. Council members were supposed to talk about whether or not he should be terminated for his alleged role in violating city policies when mailers were sent out to voters during the recall campaign against the mayor. Those mailers cost taxpayers $50,000 and highlighted the Cantrell's administration's achievements using the mayor's image and likeness. Now, throughout, uh, instead, uh, Gregory Joseph, uh, city, instead of Gregory Sh Joseph showing up to the hearing today, city attorney Denisha Turner showed up instead to ask the council to push back the hearing another two weeks so that Joseph could get another attorney to represent him. She said that she, uh, he previously had one, but they decided not to take him on as a client late in September. Uh, the council moved to give him the extra time, but questioned why he did not simply ask the council for an extension and why it appears he isn't taking the hearing seriously. Um, what a waste of your time because a quick email from him would have would have prevented all of this. I mean honestly a, a quick email from him a, a few days ago we wouldn't even all be sitting here. No, 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 no one here would have because we, we would have been here for a moment to continue it and, and move on. So I, I mean I actually feel badly for you that you have been forced to be put in this position. Uh, Mr. Swensick. And I understand what you're saying, Councilmember Moreno, and I appreciate it, but it's never a ways to advocate for your clients. Explain to me at 934 this morning, before you, as you were coming down here to make representations, that he takes this process seriously. He is still, I mean, honestly, this is Donald Trump levels of insane. As you're sitting here saying he takes the process seriously, He's posted on Instagram saying, I'm going to have my hearing on the 3rd. Explain to me how that works. I don't follow Mr. Joseph on Instagram. I don't know what he posted. So You sound like a Donald Trump lawyer. I am, I am not a Donald Trump lawyer. Maybe Donald Trump has very good lawyers, as I am one. But I cannot explain a post that Mr. Joseph posted, and I have not seen it. Now, several council members stressed that Joseph had enough time for when he was formally charged to secure an attorney for this hearing this morning and that now that he has more time, he is likely not to get any more extensions from here on out. The special hearing will now take place in council chambers on October 17th. It's also important to note that Mayor Cantrell has repeatedly said that she would not fire Joseph amid the charges and continues to say that he did not do anything wrong. Back to you, Liz, on the desk.